So Tigger decided that today should be a vlog day and a crafty vlog day. But first Tigger's going to sit pretty because he's crazy and he's sweet and he likes his belly rubbed when he sits like that. And he's going to get a cookie. <laughs> Look at his hair. He needs a haircut so bad, doesn't he? I forgot to say, hey, Crafty Family. I hope you don't mind that Tigger's on video. He said he felt neglected and he wanted to be a part of the Crafty Family. So he's going to show you a trick that he does where he rings the bell. You got to ring the bell, buddy. You can't sit like that all the time. Well, that wasn't very much. You got to ring it. Come on, ring it. Ring it all the way. Come on, mommy will hold it. Go ahead. So it won't flip around. Go ahead. Ring it. Ring the bell. Come on, buddy. Ring the bell. Ring it. No, no crawling. Ring the bell. Come on. Ring the bell. All the way. No, you're you're like banging it with your nails. That's not right. No lick the camera. Here, ring the bell. Ring it. Ring the bell. Ring it. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> he doesn't like ringing it when it's on the floor because sometimes his nail will grab it there. Whoops, sorry, buddy. It will grab it and he'll pull it and it'll go flying towards him. Good boy. But if I hold it or put it on my lap, he'll ring it all day long. He'll just keep ringing it because he wants a cookie. Good boy. All right, no more of that trick. How about we do a trick where you lay down and crawl? Come on, lay down and crawl. Lay down. Lay down. No, not sit pretty. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Crawl. Crawl. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think they've had enough now. Say bye, Tigger. Say bye. Come on, say bye. High five. Oh, good high five. Okay, we're going to go move to the craft desk. Bye. So that per first part of the video was a few days ago. And I never got around to continuing doing the vlog because I ended up getting really busy. And then getting tired. And you know how it goes. But um, this is Tigger now. Right? You're so pretty. Yeah. And tired. I woke him up. Are you so pretty? Look how pretty he looks. I groomed him finally last night. Yeah, it takes a lot of energy out of me to groom him because the clippers vibrate and they hurt my arthritis in my hands. So I dread doing it, which is why he ended up looking like a woolly mammoth with so much hair. But now he looks adorable. I'm not a professional dog groomer. I've been told several times I should be one. I just don't have the patience or the strength in my hands to do it. Um, but he's just a cutie. I've always groomed all my dogs because a lot of times, there's times I don't groom them. Like if my arthritis is like super, super flared or I'm having a bad week or I'm not feeling well, um, then I'll take them to the groomer because obviously it's easier for them to do it. Most of the time I don't really have the money to take them to the groomer. Um, but, but when I take them to the groomer, they never do a very good job because if they find any mats on his ears instead of combing them out which takes a little bit of time but still they will chop all his hair off his ears which i hate that drives me nuts so his hair is nice and long again because i've done his his grooming the past few times and i love it when he's got long hair and they also the the top which this part here is called the top knot they always end up cutting it too short and it never looks right um also you see above his eyes from here to here is shaved. Well, normally in a normal poodle cut, they don't shave that. They kind of leave the hair going from here all the way up, like they leave hair. And I don't like that because it falls in his eyes. This way, if the hair is cut away from his eyes, then it doesn't fall in his eyes. Yes, I'm talking about you. Yeah. So I like to get that, you know, it just makes his face like shape. I don't know, I like it that way better. And then I leave a little ball on his tail, which, if he'll let me, 
um it looked really cute yesterday it looked like a little cotton it's perfectly round little cotton ball look at him he's like leave me alone so yeah so that's it now i'll move to my desk i promise <laughs> and we'll continue there because i've got some things to work on so i'll be right back okay so i'm back and i moved right to my desk this is where i've been working on a couple of ATCs that I'm sending to somebody. And actually my desk got kind of dirty. So I'm going to clean it. I'm not really doing any kind of lesson today. I'm just kind of vlogging. So that means I'm probably just gonna sit here and twiddle with these um, ATCs and chat with you guys about what's going on. Um, so if you're not interested in that, you can just, um, there's like a little cog in the um, below the video and you can click on that and you can actually fast forward you can choose a speed I think I always forget to look and see how that works you could choose a speed and make the video go by faster and just kind of watch me twiddling around with my ATCs so I like to tell people that so that they have the option um, to do that rather than listen to me yammer on shitty chat but I get a lot of a lot of messages that you guys like it when I'm chatty I don't know why because I don't like the sound of my own voice so I don't know how you guys do but, <laughs> but I appreciate it um, because I can be quite long-winded um, so these ATCs I don't have some of this stuff stuck down I have that stuck down um, well actually th these are these are postcards not ATCs so um, I just did a flower and then remember I did the caulking. Um, I made the doilies and stuff with the caulking. I did that video back a while. Um, well, these are where I keep them in this little can, tin, whatever. I love, I love like tins and boxes. This is a box that I got in Happy Mail recently and it was a birch box, I think. And it's a nice box, so I pulled all the tape off of it, which I wish it wouldn't have pulled the design on it because I really liked it, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna cover it with some pretty pattern paper and have another nice box to keep crap in because I have a lot of crap. And it's a lot of little things and I like to keep things separated and organized. And I'm trying to do that, especially with the fact that I'm gonna be packing soon this way it'll be a lot easier if everything's in little boxes to kind of pack it the thing I'm concerned about is I don't want to pack 99% of the stuff in my craft room in cardboard boxes I want to pack things in plastic bins like the Rubbermaid bins my problem is I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford to get as many as I'm gonna need to pack up this room because I need to be able to have probably a good 50 of them. I have about five, <laughs> I think. I might even only have three, I can't remember. But that's how I wanna pack everything because I'm concerned my stuff is probably gonna have to be in storage, which makes me shudder um, for a period of time. So I'm concerned that the moisture if there is any I know they have temperature controlled ones and yada 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 but I don't trust I just don't trust that they're going to be perfect um, but I want to make sure that my papers and all my stuff paints this that and the other don't get affected and I want to make sure they're sealed up in as best as I can get them sealed up so that they don't get affected by the weather and whatnot so anyway, done bitching about that now. Um, so I'm just kind of gluing the things. I painted these and I'm kind of gluing them on here and then I've got to paint some more of them. I still have to paint the flower, but for now I'm just gonna stick these on where I want them. But yeah, um, it's very stressful to think that I'm gonna have to put my crafts I don't care about anything else in my house being in storage but it's stressful to me to think that my craft stuff is gonna have to be in storage and then on top of it I'm like panicking because I looked at like the prices of rents and stuff and I'm literally panicking because okay I, I, I mean it's everything is so expensive and I really don't want an apartment um, because I just don't 
want to deal with apartment life. Um, I'm not trying to be like, I'm not saying I'm too good for an apartment. That has nothing to do with it. Whoops, I didn't mean to drop that there. Actually, I don't remember how I had this planned now that I think about it. I think I was going to stick it here, like coming down off of the page. Because I wanted to put this. Yeah, I got to move it over. I'm really screwing this up now. Goodness. There we go. So anyway, I'm concerned with apartment life. Or, or being forced to have to be in an apartment and with Tigger and you know I don't know I just don't like the idea I want kind of like a house with a little garage so I have enough storage space I, I just don't like apartments I've always had very bad luck with apartments and I don't know I really would like to just be able to rent a house and then I was thinking about um, I was thinking about, you know, maybe getting an RV and then finding somewhere I can permanently put it. Um, like if somebody has property that they'd let me use a, a piece of and like even rent it from them and be able to put a store, like a shed that I can insulate and use as my studio. Because you can get a shed that's like 16 by 12 or 16 by 20 even for like $6,000 I think it was. And so all I'd have to do is insulate it, you know what I mean? Like, and they have windows in them and everything. So I could put a little air window air conditioner and, you know, like if I can find, I don't know. I just need to figure something out. I don't mind living in an RV. Like, I don't need that much living space. It's my craft room that I'm concerned with honestly because if I'm gonna do it as a business I'm gonna need some space for that but it, it I'm just stressed like really stressed out this is all really stressful to me because I'm also afraid that if I rent a house there you know a lot of people rent a house for a year rent out their house for a year and then decide that they're going to sell it and then I'd have to move again and that freaks me out because I don't want to have to go through all this because my health isn't getting any better and to have to pack up and move again would be it would just be too much for me it would just be way too much on me okay while well, that stuff's drying I'm going to work on this little flower and figure out what colors I want to paint it I'm not sure maybe I'll do like I don't know so I have a lot on my mind I guess you could say maybe I'll do red just, just a whole lot on my mind that I'm just concerned with and I don't know I just don't know what to do I'm I my biggest fear is getting stuck in a situation and being without a place to go or moving somewhere and having them turn around and change their mind or I just want some security that's all I ever wanted you know if I could afford to buy a house I would but I can't my credit is not that great I'm not gonna have that kind of money and I want to get by without payments as much as possible like the RV idea is great but any like RV park that I'd go to, they're like 400 and something dollars a month, you know, and that's on top of, you know, you have to pay like electric too. To me, that's just a lot, you know, that it, it, I might as well get something else. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's a lot. It's just a lot of stress. It really is. I'm not trying to be complainy. I'm just telling you what's going on this week. And at this moment, I do have a lot of stress in my life. So I can't help it if a lot of my vlogs are in that kind of realm of stressiness. I, I don't know. 
I don't know what else to do. I wish I knew somebody that had, a, you know, like a decent amount of property that wouldn't mind letting me just park my RV and put a shed. You know, I don't need a lot of space. Somewhere where there can be power hooked up and I like pay them a monthly fee, which would be cheaper, you know, than 400 and something dollars a month. Plus, I'm trying to find something to use that red paint on. <laughs> I'm like, what can I do with it? Maybe I can use it to outline this ATC. But yeah, so that's what's been on my mind. And then I kept thinking, well, you know, what if I don't sell the house and stay here? You know, maybe that would be better, but then I wouldn't have the money to open my business. Like, it's everything's a catch-21. I do one thing, and it's and it screws up another thing. And I feel it's, like, really stressful. It's really stressful because I don't have a husband. I don't have anybody to rely on. It's just me. I don't have grown kids that could take me in. I don't have none of that. So, and I don't have family I can depend on nothing so I'm kind of as they say SOL I'm sure you know what that means <laughs> it's kind of nerve-wracking and I just don't I'm just like confused on what to do I mean I found some RVs that were fairly cheap and so that with um, uh, like a shed that I would need for my art studio I can totally do that you know that would be like really good because then it's mine you know, and, but unfortunately, then where do I park it? You know, then I have to rent a spot that ends up being expensive every month. And I can't afford that. And I, I just want it, I want to try to make it so that it's as least money every month out of my pocket so that in case something goes terribly wrong, I'm not going to go, oh my God, how am I going to pay my rent? I'm screwed. I'm going to have to move. Like, that's the feeling I fear the most. So, if I can find a way to try to avoid that, I will be much better off. Much better off. Um, even though this is wet, it's not wet on the back. So, I'm going to stick this right here. So, I don't know if any of you guys have ever been in that kind of situation. I'm going to use this to hold it down. This is the light bulb that goes in my little oil burner thing. And it blew out today, which I was very upset about. And I thought I had a spare, but I didn't. But I'm going to save it and use it in my crafting. Because this would be kind of cool for like mixed media. So, I kind of stuck it over here. But then I'm going to draw a little stem and make like a doodle let's see I've got green markers galore here I need a scrap piece that I can I wonder if this will write on here yeah it does So hopefully when the time comes, I will come across somebody that has property that for like 200 bucks a month even, plus, you know, whatever the electric bill would be for me plugging into their thing, you know, that's fine. I just want to keep the payments at a minimum, just in case, just in case. But I just don't see that. I just don't see it happening where I'm going to find somebody like that. That's going to let me, you know, just rent a small piece of their property. There's people around here everywhere that have acres and acres of property. Some people do nothing with them. You know, I don't know. I don't know if you could see that leaf very much. I guess you can. I can. I don't know if you guys can. Isn't that cute? That's like a postcard. I mean, I don't think I could put that in the mail, <laughs> but it's cute. I think it's really colorful and pretty. I like it. I might add a little bit of glitter here and there. 
And then I've got this one, which I'm trying to figure out. I know I want the flower. I'm trying to figure out what color I want this, because this is going to go under the flower. Like that. And that's going to go on top, like that. Or I think I'm going to put the red on top. Like that. I just want to think of what I'm going to do the doily in. Let's see, what do I want to do the doily in? Ooh, maybe a metallic gold would be pretty. I have this liquid leaf stuff. Maybe I'll use that. That sounds like a plan. I'm going to use a cruddy kids paintbrush because this stuff is um, not acrylic. I don't know what it is. It's something. <laughs> it's one of those paints that have the warnings on it that you're going to get cancer. But luckily I only use it in small amounts. And I'm not sitting here huffing it in any way. And I'm try I don't really touch it either. So I'll just use it from the lid. But it's really pretty. I just hope it doesn't react with the caulking. <laughs> that would be weird. But if you guys have any helpful suggestions about what I can do in my situation <clears throat> or any ideas, I'd appreciate it. I'm like losing my voice. I haven't really been talking that long. Some days my voice is better than others. I'm not interested in renting a room. I'm not interested in living with somebody else unless it's like if I do get a house and I decide to get a roommate. But I'm not interested in renting a room with anybody because that is another ordeal that could be potentially stressful because what if they're a crazy person and I mean not even like a psycho crazy just annoying or you know somebody who just I you know I, I like to be left alone let's put it that way I don't bother with people I don't you know I'm not an overly like up your ass type of person. I like to kind of just do my thing and I don't want to have to be 100% social every day. I just want, you know, to live and kind of do my thing and I don't know. I just don't like to be bothered. So if I live with somebody else, my concern is they're going to think I'm antisocial and, you know, give me an attitude because sometimes, no matter how many times I tell people, that it's not because I don't like you, it's just because I require a lot of alone time to get my stuff done and I don't like to sit around and be all chatty. I'm not like one of those type of girls. I'm not that type of girl that needs to sit and gossip and talk about boys and this, like it's just not me. I'm just not that way. Like, you know, I don't need to talk to other people <laughs> like that. I'm just not that kind of girl anyway. I actually prefer to live with guys because they're not generally don't have a lot of drama going on. But they're also slobs a lot of times. I've had roommates and, and all the roommates I've had were guys because I put it right in the ad that I wanted a guy roommate. Because women can be too much of a pain in the ass. I don't want to have to worry about people borrowing my stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Not that I'm like trying to be selfish and say that you can't touch my stuff but I oh it's another thing I have issues with I don't I have issues with people touching my things
That looks pretty. That came out really pretty. Now just trying to think of whether I want to do the other pieces in gold. Ooh, this stuff is stinky though. Woo wee. Okay, can I move you? Because I don't want you to get stuck on the paper. With this type of thing, you gotta like check it from all angles because sometimes you didn't get like the side of it or something or like in one of the little holes it's pretty it's just stinky as hell I definitely don't recommend it if you don't like stinky things yeah my oil burner broke so I've been burning incense because I like aromatherapy it, it helps my mood so I like to have either my oil burner go in or something something that smells good not this stuff <laughs> this is so freaking stinky I gotta be done with this soon because it's driving me nuts alright I'm gonna put that in water even though water isn't really cleaning it it usually whew, Stinky stuff. Woo, I don't know if I'll want to use that again. It's fine for like a small thing, but whoo wee. So if I do the butterflies, maybe I'll do them in a different metallic color and not that stuff. This I might have to do in that though because it's going to go in the center of the flower. So maybe, or maybe I'll use like my uh, rub and buff or something. Maybe I'll use that. I should try it. Let's see. I wonder if it'll be similar. Let's see. Here's antique gold. I don't know if I opened that yet. No. Wait, here's one that's open. Here we go. Let's try this and see if it's anywhere similar. Probably not, but that's okay. I might even put some of this antique gold on over that one. Um, I planted flowers today. We went to Lowe's on Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Um, and I picked up a flat, just one flat of... I don't remember what they're called now. They're not impatience, but they're another one of those type of easy to plant, don't require a lot of stuff, attention. I just needed something that was easy to deal with. There we go. And I planted that. My bulbs are coming up and I planted the flowers in between where the bulbs are. I can't wait until the gladiolas start to bloom. That's going to be so awesome. Chris pissed me off today because I sent him, we went to Lowe's yesterday, but we got something that wasn't the right size. So I sent him back to go get the replacement. And keep in mind, Lowe's is about a 15 minute drive. And it took him two hours to go pick up four things that should never have taken that long. But, you know, he lies and tells me that, oh, he was in the store for blah, blah, blah. And it's BS. He, he stopped at his friend's house is what he did. Here I am waiting and waiting and waiting. He left at 530. I figured he'll be back by 430. I mean, uh, he left at 5.30. I figured he'll be back by 6.30 at the latest. He didn't get back till after 7.30. And it was almost dark. And I still had to plant these flowers. 
But of course, you know, his social life comes first. So he just did whatever he wanted to do and left me sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And of course he tells me, oh no, yada, yada, yada. But he lies about everything. I, you know, it is so hard to get the truth out of him. It's, it's literally like pulling teeth. And you can't get the truth out of him because he will deny everything you say. And I'm not stupid. So, I mean, I know when he's lying. And nine times out of ten, when something comes out of his mouth, it's a lie. So that's the unfortunate thing that I have to deal with. Because it's so frustrating. And then he's like, oh, don't treat me like a kid. And I'm like, don't act like a kid. Because what 42-year-old man lies about everything they say. I have to get him up in the morning for work most of the time because he doesn't get up. And it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So... When he says things like, don't treat me like a kid, I just look at him and say, don't act like a child. Otherwise, it forces me to treat him like a child. Because how else can you treat somebody that just does these things that you just can't, I can't even fathom any, I, I couldn't even think of another 42-year-old man that acts this way. It's just not, it just I, beyond, it's beyond my imagination. Like, I can't take it. But anyway, so that's what I deal with. So trying to get something done during the day is impossible because he wants to sleep till three, four o'clock in the afternoon and then take his sweet ass time when I send him to the store. And I just feel like it's just a constant, constant battle. I never, every day I wake up and I think, great. Another day where I'm gonna have to get into an argument with somebody because just to get anything done. And that's how it is. It's exactly how it is. It's very frustrating. But anyway, I digress. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Stinky or not, that's really pretty. It dries pretty quick, but I'm going to hit it with the heat gun real quick. Just a little bit. Because I know it's dry, like it's dry to the touch. I just don't know how I'm gonna glue that. I guess I'm gonna just put some aliens on it. Maybe I'll use a brush. It might be easier that way. It might be easier that way. Now we gotta work on the butterflies. And let's see, what colors? That's a hard one. I've got red and teal on here, and there's a touch of yellow, which is gonna get covered up by this. Yep, unless I turn it this way still gonna get covered up it doesn't matter <laughs> which actually I think it goes this way more anyway so maybe I should do yellow yellow <laughs> yellow and what yellow and don't know I'm like looking at my paint so that's why I'm kind of sitting here maybe yellow yellow and orange that's the only thing I can really think of to do that would not look horrible on this so what I'll do is I will paint them yellow, but I want a different yellow than this. I don't want that yellow, but I'm not sure I have another yellow. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Hold the, hold the phones, folks. Somewhere I have yellow oak, yellow oxide. I want yellow ochre. Hold on. It's here somewhere. At least I thought it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. 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 What the heck? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. 
Vamos assim, né? That's really fresh. Somewhere my camera shut off. I'm not sure why. But anyway, I was picking out paint. And I picked out a couple colors to do these butterflies. I'm not sure I like it so much, but that's okay. But anyway, I was saying that when I move... I'm going to have a much better way of storing my paint because right now it is to the right of me under my desk on this cart that has like two shelves and it's very dark under there so it is extremely difficult for me to pick out colors of paint because I can't really see. Like I literally can't see what's under there very well. So as you noticed, I have not used my jelly plate and did any videos on my jelly plate lately because it's such an ordeal just to pick out um paints to use on my jelly plate that i've just kind of given up trying if it's not something i can grab like i did that i think i did the video after i did some jelly printing but I only took like a couple of colors because I did that little jelly plate but like I want to do my big jelly plate but that requires having a lot of colors I might actually put some red on this and I can't really get to my paint I'm not even cleaning off my brush I'm just kind of going for it letting the colors kind of mix. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. Actually, I'm gonna put a little water in here so that it's a smaller container. Closer to me. If I can get the cap on. A little bit easier to go like that and then reach across my desk for the big one. But, um, But yeah, the so I want to have my paint storage be like way better. I want to be able to see my colors. That looks cool. I dig it. Let's see what it looks like on here. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Could be better, I guess, but not bad. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it looks good. I guess it looks good. It'll do. Maybe I'll put some glitter on them. And that will also make it look better. It's hard to find accent colors for a, a background of teal and red. It's kind of hard. I don't know, what would you use on these butterflies aside from this color? Whoopsie. Is there another color that would go? I mean, besides white or teal or red. <laughs> on the back. I mean, not the back. Whoops. Don't flip it over. Sides. Good enough. to hold on to these little suckers so anyway it's not much of a vlog if I'm not talking about something right hopefully the guy that's been working on the house 
he hasn't been here in a few weeks. I'm really hoping he'll be here next weekend because I'm, I really want to get the house up for sale no later than the first weekend in July, which is really cutting it close because I really wanted it up in June. <laughs> really, really wanted it up in June. I just don't see it happening with him not showing up for a few weeks because he had other things to do, which I completely understand. And then, you know, every obstacle I could imagine with Chris is just happening because it's just how it is. You know, he doesn't seem to give a crap about my stress levels at all. He just does what he wants to do, even though he knows I'm stressed out. Doesn't care. Doesn't care. Just does whatever. Because if it's not all about him, then, you know, whatever. So, I just really want to see this stuff get done as fast as possible. And because I'm ready just get it over with really I just want to get it over with even though I, I'm scared to death and I don't know where the hell I'm gonna go because I can't do anything until the house sells and like the day of closing and the day of closing they, they get the keys and I have to be out so then I have to try to find a place to live because nobody's gonna if I have to rent something you know, I'm not going to be able to, here's another black hair on my desk. I don't get where the hell they're coming from. Um, if I'm going to have to rent like a house, I, I can't look for a place and say, oh, I'll get you your money as soon as the house closes. I mean, I can't do that. I have to be able to give them the money immediately. And so I have to go through that whole process after I've sold the house. So I'm pretty much going to be homeless for a period of time. I'm literally going to be homeless. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Don't know. But I try not to think about that very much because it puts me into an anxiety attack, which is what I had the other day because all these thoughts were going through my head, going through my brains. I don't know. I wish there was a magic wand that could just make everything easier for me. But I'm not that lucky. Some people are kind of lucky like that. They kind of have everything just fall in place for them. No matter what they do, it just falls in place. Do you ever know that? Do you ever see that type of person? No matter what, they're either they have a husband that makes enough money to take care of everything and they don't have to do anything. They can sit in their craft room all day long and do nothing. Or... They have family that just comes together and pulls together and does everything they can to help that person. I don't have that kind of family, unfortunately. I've never had that kind of family. My family always just was pretty much useless, unfortunately. I wish things were different, but they're not and I just deal with that so I'm literally on my own and need to figure it out but I guess I will figure it out and I've got paint on my fingers it was better than having dirt in my nails <laughs> I was planting and I came in and my nails were black <laughs> but the flowers look pretty I don't know does that look weird I think I'm gonna go over it with some rub and buff when it's dry I think I'll hit them with the heat gun real quick I'm gonna go over them with some of the rub and buff stuff because I can and I need to because otherwise they don't kind of go with what I'm doing very well. See, that looks better. Can you see it? Can you see it? That looks better. Much better.
So yeah, it's like on one hand, I'm really excited to sell the house and go on to the next step of my life. And on the other hand, I'm petrified. I want to crawl up in the fetal position and just scream. Because I know that I'm pretty much going to be all on my own. And if I'm going by past track record with people and things, I'm literally going to be on my own. There's not anybody that's going to step up and help me with anything. That's just how my life is. I don't usually get a whole lot of, let me help you. Let me, you know, take some of this stress off of you. I don't think I really ever get that in my life, unfortunately. That looks pretty. Now, let's, well, let's get a WAP. Let's get a WAP. I swear I'm not Southern. I think I watch too many people that are Southern on YouTube and it's rubbing off. And I live in a Southern state. And sometimes I do it as a joke, so. And then it starts becoming a habit, which is never a good idea. Never a good idea. Okay. So now they look a little bit better. So that looks better, right? I might actually put rub and buff on this to kind of tone it down a little bit because now that the other things are kind of metallic, it's more of a more of a subtle metallic than it is this shiny metallic. So I'm going to try to, yeah, that's better. So I probably should just use this in the first place, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. I love metallic paints, metallic things. They're, that's like my favorite is anything metallic. Wow, that stuff dried really fast on there. I guess I should just pull it out of the jar with my finger, with my phalanges. Okay, that is better. Now it's kind of a more coordinating color with everything else. Well, that stuff sticks on your fingers well, don't it? <laughs> and on my craft mat, too. Stop that. Stop that. Okay. That's better. And then the flowers will go on top. And then that will go in the center. So, what do you think? Cute? Cute. Now we just need to glue it all down. And I'm just gonna use this paintbrush and some aliens. Tacky glue. I'm gonna put some out like it's a paint. And I'm gonna start with this doily. I'm going to need a lot more paint or glue than, than that. Because I'm trying to put it on thick because it's um, caulking. I want it to stick really well. 
Have any any of you other guys tried the whole caulking in, you know, the silicone molds and the caulking? How did it come out? Did you make anything pretty? Tell me in the comments. God, it seems like everybody and their mother has been going on vacation. <laughs> I see all these posts of everybody going to Florida, going here, going there. It looks so pretty. All the beach pictures that I'm seeing. Wherever these people are going, they're going where the water is just so pretty. And it's like, how come every time I go to the beach, the water don't look that pretty? I want to go to the beach. Are you guys going to the beach? You want to take me with you? There we go. Let's see. I might have to wipe over the top of this where some glue might have gotten on the top. There we go. Clean this up. This is sure a messy one, isn't it? <laughs> that glue's starting to dry. Okay. And that baby wipe has had it. It has seen better days. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm hoping to be able to go on vacation when I sell the house. So that these I can put down with hot glue because they're thick enough on the back. But that shouldn't be an issue. Are any of you guys going on vacation? What's your plans this summer? Vacations with the kids and such? Where are you going? Going anywhere fun? Exciting? I will live vicariously through you. <laughs> Cause I can't go on vacation yet, but I sure as hell want to. As soon as I can, I'm going to. That sounds like a good idea. Just to get away. I want to go to California and visit Secret. You guys know Secret Soto, right? I want to go out and visit her. I want to go out and visit Lynn. You know who you are. I want to see all kinds of people and visit with people. hoping to go to a few different places if I can swing it not just California but visit some other people oh that came out cute okay so that didn't wasn't so bad I thought the butterflies were gonna make it look stupid the way not the butterflies themselves but the color of the butterflies and I just need to move that in a little bit okay that came out really cute I'm happy with that. I might actually back it on some um, chipboard because I didn't realize this was going to be so heavy. Same with this one. This one's not quite as flippy floppy, but this one's got some heavier elements on it than this one. I think they both came out cute. What do you think? What do you think? I might, ooh, I should put the, the gold around the edges. I might put some gold on that little branch and then put gold around the edges, especially on this one, the rub and boof, rub and buff. Yeah, I'm curious to where y'all are going on vacation, if you're going on vacation. Anybody going to Disney? Or just going to the beach of some sort? Maybe a cruise? That would be fun. I always wanted to go on the Disney cruise. Has anybody been on the Disney cruise? Did you have fun? Was it good? Was it great? I ask a lot of questions to people that can't answer me. Well, you can answer me later. I gotta still catch up on my messages. I've been really slacking. It's not that I've been slacking, I've just been busy, 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 busy. Busy, busy, busy. Okay. 
Now this, that's not going to work. I want to take a little bit of the... Now there's already um, a metallic paint on this. It's like a brown metallic paint. And I just want to take a little rub and buff over top. There we go. That's a little better. I might actually... I think I edged this with red already. I might actually leave it alone. And move on to something else. But I think I'm going to leave my vlog at this because I've been yammering on about stuff and bitching and complaining for the past I don't know how long almost an hour so I think I'm gonna leave it at that for the vlog um, I gave you um, some info about what's going on whether you like it or not you got to hear it <laughs> and hopefully as soon as I can oh I hope I didn't ruin my brush because the glue is sitting on that Nah, it'll be fine. Hopefully I don't depress you too much with my vlogs. I'm just stressed out. I can't help it if that's what I... That's what's, the, that's what's basically going on. Me being stressed out. So, but I love the fact that with me being stressed out and when I talk about it, you guys always make me feel better in the comments and you always have some sort of advice a lot of times or just wisdom or nice words to say and that really is helpful in this time for me. It really, really is. So it's kind of nice. It's like ther it's like cheap therapy. <laughs> so, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed these little postcards. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. And have a great rest of your week. Bye. Mm -hmm.